Oliver Tree and Logan Paul are beefing. This all started last week when Oliver Tree was a guest on the Logan Paul podcast, Impulsive. Right at the beginning of the podcast, Oliver Tree brings out his own sports drink, Slime, which seems to be a direct competitor with Logan Paul's sports drink, Prime. Well, I just you need want, my drink. You want some Prime hydration? I got my own shit. Motherfucker. Oh, there's no motherfucker. I own drink and we are putting these in stores <laughs> everywhere in the next two to three months. We're taking over. Oliver. <laughs> Oliver, these look similar. Bro, we're not gonna have a problem. My shit is ten times better. Throughout the podcast, there's a lot of back and forth banter between Logan and Oliver, and everything seemed to be going well. Some jokes were being said, a little light roasting. They took themselves very serious and they don't want to be the butt of a joke. It's not like impulsive where anyone can come in here and clown us. <laughs> No, but I are you are you good, bro? Huh? Are you good, bro? Are you good? You yeah. need to take the survey. No, hey, I fuck with you. Bro, please stop. Don't hey, don't turn on me here. And then they had a special guest. There was a young lady standing outside who was taking some selfies, and they decided to pull her into the podcast. When they pulled her in, they suggested to give her a blind test between slime and prime. After she chose prime, Oliver was getting ready to walk out of the podcast. That is the most organic. He's walking. He's walking. Dude. He's walking. Dude. He's After Oliver came back, they continued the podcast. And then towards the end, they had George's dad come on. And they made him do a blind test between Slime and Prime as well. Wait, does he need water to cleanse the palate? Yeah, yeah, yeah a little water. And out of these two drinks, which one would you buy? Drink number one or drink number two? And when he chose Prime in the blind taste test over Slime, this triggered Oliver Tree and he stormed off the podcast, cussing out Logan Paul and everyone else in the room. <laughs> Immediately after the podcast, there was a little back and forth on social media where Logan thanked Oliver and said that he was one of the best guests he had. Then Oliver immediately said that he was clowning Logan and basically said that he made a fool out of him on his podcast. So I've been podcasting for three years now, over 300 episodes, and 100% the podcast we just shot with Oliver that we just released is my favorite we've ever done. I, I think it's hilarious all the way through. He's an amazing guest, great entertainer, hilarious, tap to watch, love. I just fucking clowned Logan Paul on his own podcast. This dude is a fucking joke, dude. I just destroyed him. I need you guys to watch this shit. Because it is too fucking funny, man. I'm saying it right now. This dude had it coming. To Oliver Tree, I take back everything I just said. You're the worst guest we've ever had on Impulsive. You're fucking dead to me, bro. You're lucky I don't remove that podcast, to be honest. And you, by the way, music's for toddlers. Right after that, Oliver posted an Instagram story telling Logan that he was going to be in his hometown and that he was going to level his ass when he saw him. And as you probably already know, Logan Paul showed up at that concert dressed up as Oliver on stage and performed one of his songs. <laughs> That was followed up by a tussle where Logan Paul manhandled Oliver a bit on stage. And just today, Logan Paul made an appearance at a WWE event and Oliver Tree bought ringside tickets, holding up signs, taunting Logan the entire time and even going up to Logan's mom to get a rise out of her. If you're familiar with Oliver Tree, you'll know that he pulls a lot of stunts like these and he constantly riles people up and there's always fake beef with a lot of the celebrities that he interacts with. I'm smooth, I'm agile, and I'm tactical. But no, I do not swear in front of children. Fuck you, man. I'm done with this fucking kid. What's going on over here? Your fucking son is an asshole. Really? I don't know. There's no way I'm letting you ride on that night, honestly. No. I don't want to. No, gonna move sue out of me, the fucking dude. way. No, I'm not going to sue you, dude. I've hit shit double the size. Don't no, fucking honestly. touch my. Don't you fucking touch no, my. I've got to scare the kid. No. What are you. Don't you fucking. <laughs>
kid. No, no. This is better. I need my shit, dude. Dude, that's like fifty dollars from Kmart. I know, but I'm just not used to it, man. It's not going to be the same. I can't do my varials the same way. So without a doubt, this is all staged, but it seems to be in good fun, and I'm enjoying it. And even though Oliver called for a boxing match, I almost have a feeling that they're trying to set up a wrestling match because of the WWE event today. And also when Oliver was on the podcast, he mentioned wanting to do some professional wrestling, but he also mentioned wanting the box as well. Would you ever box? I actually, I was getting into boxing right around that time when I was getting yoked up. I was training every fucking day and I have, basically I, I'm not as interested in boxing as I am in wrestling. So like WWE type shit is like mm. really where I'm going. It's been kind of fun so far and I'm really interested to see how far these two will take it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about all this. Does Oliver take it too far sometimes or is this act actually fun and enjoyable? I kind of like it. So I'm wondering what everyone else thinks. All right, with all that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.